Hi, this is Yoshi. Uh, this is a care collab video about Dendrobium kingianum. Um, the care collab is pretty much uh, tagged in all together so that uh, uh, people in a different uh, area, uh, YouTubers get together in a uh, link and then uh, so that the people when for for this one uh, particularly if uh, you want to know how to take care of a dendrobium kingianum uh, you can refer to uh, whoever you want um, hopefully you're picking somebody who is closer to your situation and uh, at this point uh, I couldn't find the information about who is doing the care collab with me um, I know for sure uh, Fernanda, she is the one who reached out to me about this. Um, so her link will be definitely in the description, um, but uh, I don't know at this point, uh, I don't know who's uh, doing this with me. Anyways, uh, I want to tell you uh, where I live and all that stuff. Um, I live in Lake Stevens in Washington State, uh, that's the United States, and uh, Lake Stevens, Washington is uh, 8B, that's the weather zone. We have pretty much vivid four uh, seasons and uh, uh, flip side of that, we don't have a severe winter, we don't have a severe summer. Uh, fairly humid throughout, but not too much uh maybe 30 somewhere around there in summertime and 50 60 70 in the winter time rarely snows at winter time uh, we just had a snow storm but that's like everybody else in the united states apparently but it wasn't uh anything uh serious but uh anyways uh so here we are this is a uh, march 8th at this point uh happened to be super nice weather and happened to be uh, my day off so it's a perfect timing right anyways um so uh dendrobium kingianum um this one uh i have this as a seedling but i'm for sure i am pretty sure this is a seedling but uh dendrobium kingianum if you look it up uh, it comes in different size, different shape, not shape, but form, uh, different colors, um, something like that. Um, there is actually, I guess, movement to make a uh, Dendrobium kingianum as its own uh, tree, tray, something like that, uh, that I never can remember a name. Um, but uh, anyways, this guy can take uh, freezing temperature to pretty hot temperature lives in Australia comes from Australia I mean and uh, takes a pretty good uh, variety of conditions um, and the flowers are really tiny uh, from white to deep purple sometimes deep reddish purple um, mine I have no idea since it's never been bloomed yet it, I had this uh a little over a year i think uh literally as a seedling um and uh i got this greenhouse last year and uh, uh i could have leave it outside but uh, uh basically i didn't have a guts to and i kind of am glad because the greenhouse went below 50 for a few days and uh, some orchids took a uh, cold damage to it but this one didn't now I don't know what those white tinges are some kind of a damage uh, I don't think I have a spider mites or some thought some sort of a pest like that but um, yeah anyways so this can take a cold snap too which is uh, pretty amazing to me it's uh, supposedly little white I put it in a small bark, charcoal, and uh, uh, perlite or growstone or whatever you call it, and just sitting like that. And then just the uh, water along with the uh, um, 
other uh, mount and uh, it also takes a really good level of light too so that's why it's uh, hanging like this along with the other ones um, likes the humidity but uh like I said it's in uh, it, it goes through a pretty good uh, variety of uh, temperature and whatnot so um, humidity shouldn't really it, of course it will help but it shouldn't pr probably shouldn't uh, be that much of a, a factor um, yeah I don't know if mine is a smaller size of a King Yanam or not but uh, it is a fragrant too if I remember correctly um, will shoot out pretty cute small flower too um, uh, so um, Ellen from Olympic Orchid who is uh, my mentor and uh, teaches me a lot of course about lots of kind of stuff and she grows it outside so more like a symbidium care the level of the light will be about the same too um, and i think i am going to um, acclimate this one outside eventually or put it in a cooler situation in the winter time um, the uh, species what do you call it species uh, website didn't really say anything about winter rest I don't know if it needs a winter rest or not but um, obviously it takes a cold weather so I think you can grow it pretty much all year round outside if you are you know in uh, if you don't have any uh, freezing temperature winter uh, and that should be it i don't know what else can tell you it's a lithophyte actually like i said so i maybe i should be uh, growing in a, a smaller uh, lava lava rock or a leka but leka could be a little tricky it's a different whole different ball game too but yeah um it doesn't like to be yeah it doesn't like to be wet whole time so in a sense more like a talamania too uh, I guess the roots are not that much of a system either um, so I've never mounted it before but yeah I don't know if a mounting is a good I uh, idea if that's the case so yeah that's it and uh, I will uh, put the link of other uh, uh, care club youtubers link in my description and uh, that should be it thank you for watching bye